This problem asks us to add polynomials. Adding polynomials is very similar to combining like terms because what we're going to do here is we're going to take a look and normally what you do is when you see those parentheses you ask yourself if there's anything we can distribute out there but all we really have out front is kind of like an imaginary one out there. So in front of this first set of parentheses we don't really have anything to distribute so we're just going to recopy that and we're going to have 3n squared minus 2n plus 8 and then we're going to distribute a positive 1 in this second set of parentheses and that's not really going to change anything 1 times 11 n squared is a positive 11 n squared 1 times 2 n is a positive 2 n and then 1 times negative 5 is a negative 5 and now we just combine like terms so the first thing I look for is we go in descending order so I start with my squared terms 3 n squared plus 11 n squared is going to give us a 14 n squared. Now I move on to my second set of terms, negative 2n plus 2n, and what happens there is those are just going to cancel out, right? Negative 2n plus 2n, that's 0n's. And now finally I've got an 8 and a negative 5. 8 minus 5 gives us a positive 3. So when we added those polynomials, what we were left with was 14n squared plus 3. Okay, so now let's move on to one that looks a little bit more difficult. Uh, again, we're just distributing an imaginary 1 in here, so just kind of imagine there's a 1 out there. Distribute that 1 in these parentheses, and uh, really all you're doing is dropping the parentheses. So we're going to have 4ab to the 5th minus 3a squared b plus 2a, and now we distribute the 1. 1 times negative 6 is a minus 6a. 1 times 4a squared b is, again, positive 4a squared b, and then positive 1 times positive 12 is a positive 12. Now, again, start with the highest power stuff. I take a look right here, and I have a 4ab to the 5th. There's nothing really I can combine that with, so I'm just going to copy that down. 4a, b to the fifth. Now let's take a look for our next term with the highest power. I have a, th a negative 3ab squared and a 4ab squared. Since those have the same letters and those letters have the same exponents, I can combine those. So a negative 3 plus 4 is a positive 1a squared b. Again, I'm not going to write the 1 out there because that's just kind of implied. And then the last terms that we can combine is I have, I guess I'm, I got two more steps. You see I have a positive 2a and a negative 6a. Uh, positive 2 minus 6 is a negative 4a. And then finally you can take a look over here and you see that I've got this positive 12. So I'm just going to go ahead and bring that down, that plus 12 down. And I take a look, there's nothing really else combined. You see I've underlined these, so I know I've accounted for everything. So this is going to be my final answer.